Hello everyone. Today I will make a different kind of video. It's not a travel video, but it's um, information about one of the flower that I always love. And um, that flower is a giant bleeding heart. And the Latin name for that is uh, Lemprocapnos spectabilis. And I want to tell you more about this uh, flower. Lemprocapnos spectabilis is a raving beauty with a chains of pink heart shaped flowers with dangle enticingly from the stems arching above the foliage in spring. The common name for this flower is bleeding heart, but the botanical name is Lemprocapnos spectabilis, formerly Dicentra spectabilis. Just one look at the bleeding heart flower easy to understand where the name comes from. Part of the poppy family, these unique plants bloom with heart-shaped pink and white flowers that grace the spring landscape. In the language of the flowers, a gift of bleeding hearts symbolizes passionate romantic love. In many Asian cultures, these flowers signify a broken heart or a love unrequited. Here we will take you through everything you need to know about bleeding hearts, flower meaning, symbolism, history, origins, and cultural significance around the world. First, bleeding hearts flower meaning the essentials. In the language of flowers, bleeding heart symbolize passion, love, and romance. The pink and white blossom may also signify unrequited love or a broken heart. In some cultures, flowers represent compassion and the ability to speak freely about emotions. White bleeding hearts represent purity. Botanical characteristics, colors, and fragrances. Spectabilis grows up to three feet tall, a shade loving perennial. Bleeding heart has powdery green leaves that grow in a rosette. Some varieties have fern like foliage up to 20 pendant flowers, each from one or two inches long, dangling a row on arching stems. The blossoms have two heart-shaped pink petals that puff or pouch slightly and resemble tiny lanterns two small white inner petals and the stamen peek out underneath. These inner petals appear to be dripping from the lanterns. Pleading heart flowers have a delicate, sweet end. The history and origins of the bleeding heart flowers Bleeding hearts have long been cultivated in, north, in northern China, Japan, and Korea. The plants were first introduced in Europe in 1800s. Robert Fortune, a Scottish botanist, they became popular in English gardens in 1846 when the royal Horticulture Society brought bleeding hearts back from an explore, exploratory trip to the east. Since then, the flowers have popular ornamentals in spring gardens across temperate zones of Northern America and Europe. Hardiness zone 
is run from zone three to nine. Mature size, it grow two to three feet tall and wide. The foliage is dormant in the summer to love it and compound. Soft green, the flowers will bloom from April to May, showy pink hot shapes flowers with the white drop shape petal in the middle from along the undersides and arching stems. Sometimes you can find the red one for Valentine or you can find the pure white one which is very rare. The plant will expose to partial shade or shade. The soil prefer moist, well-drained and humus rich. It's a shade garden, woodland, perennial borders, shrub border, shrub borders and cut flower. For propagation, sometimes it cell shows roots division in fall or early spring before they emerge. So they look like long chains of lockets or swaths of bleeding hearts when in flower. And the foliage is dainty and pretty in a funny way. The plants are on glass. There is nothing about this plant that you don't like. It's very fragile, very romantic, very sweet. The stems of Lemprocapnos, spectabilis flowers, also make super and long-lasting cut flowers in a vase. Plant giant bleeding hearts in a rich moisture retentive soil, and they are not particularly fussy about soil type, acid alkali, as long as it has plenty of humus, so they adore munch and compost, and tolerate enriched clay as well as loam. Plus, they are very frost hardy. Giant bleeding hearts love nesting under trees and shrubs in the dapple light and shade. When the larger woodland companions shelter their long chains from winds and afternoon sun, long leaf perennial clump. Isn't that beautiful and isn't that fantastic you need to have at least one or two color in your yard and enjoy its coming back year after years. Bleeding hot flowers in pink is the most common flower, but I want to collect the red one and the white one as well. So until the next time, enjoy my collection of flowers as much as enjoy my travel videos. I hope you click like and subscribe button so I can show you more of my favorite flowers in the next coming videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel.